Alright y'all, fuck it, blackout video, you know what, the game I think is still going on, I don't even know the final score, it was 115 and 107, you know, when I turned the game off, and it was less than 30 seconds, look, there were some positives to this game, I told y'all Willie Herman, Herman Gomez needed minutes. I think you all saw that why he needed minutes, right? It was so bad that Jackson Pays played a couple minutes, I think two or three minutes into the um, third quarter. And then after he got his fourth foul, he never touched the floor again. He got benched the rest of the game. He only played like 11 minutes. Herman Gomez showed that he could play and he needs more minutes on his team. I said this weeks ago. I think I might have even said this in like late December, the first week of January. I said this weeks ago he needed to play. And his performance tonight, he better get minutes, especially over Melly, especially over Hayes. But you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get into Willie Hearn and Gomez yet. I don't really have much negative to say about him. Uh, he even took a three tonight, and I was glad he took a three. Okay, let, let's 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 do this, right? Oh my god! First of all, that pussy ass double like the the second tech that Bagley got was some pussy shit. Fuck the rest for that. He should not have been thrown out. Fucked up the game. But what happened in my head when that happened, I was like, I hope Sacramento don't rally behind this. And it seems like they did. But we're we not going to get into that either. You know, but, but fuck the rest of that pussy shit. Um, okay. <laughs> Stan, Stan, Stan. Okay, check this out. What is with the inconsistent defensive scheme here? Some plays you were hedging and trapping Fox to get someone else to make a play on the ball. And it was working. Why was it this the like what why wasn't he doing why was this the game plan? You know, Fox ain't that good enough to where he should be splitting defenses, but first of all, let's start there. Why no why no double and hedge on him the entire game, number one? Number two, why the fuck is Bledsoe guarding him? Go look at my tweet. Follow me, Black J Strokes, on Twitter. Go look at my tweet for the game. I said, whoever Bledsoe got guarding him is finna cook the rest of the night. I told you, it did not matter. And what the, what the fuck happened? They put Bledsoe on... Fox 1v1 the entire fucking game, and Fox got 38 a goddamn 12. The, the fucking bullshit. The fucking bullshit. And then you put Lonzo on goddamn Hyde, and Hyde is 416. 416. Put Lonzo on him from the beginning. I mean, either way, you're going to get cooked. You might as well let, let Hyde beat you. Don't let De'Aaron Fox, who got 41, I believe, the first time y'all played, and Lonzo wasn't available. Don't let him do it again. <laughs> I don't get this shit. But wait a minute. There's more. We played Kira and Nall together in the backcourt. Yay. We got Kira. <laughs> we got Kira minutes. We got Nall minutes. But wait. There's more. They didn't play defense enough. Now, they had some good plays. They had some good plays here and there. I ain't going to lie. They had a good sequence or two, you know, here and there. So, I'm not going to hate on them at least in the entirety on the offense. But look, they don't play a lick of defense. Fox was cooking. Harrison Barnes was cooking. And people got to stop sleeping on Harrison Barnes. First of all, he played for my Mavs. I know how good he is. He was on the championship Warriors team, the one that went 73-9 and nine and lost in the finals, and the one the year before that that actually beat LeBron in Cleveland uh, in the finals, 4-2. The guy can ball. He's not. He was an All American. He can fucking ball. He can put the ball in the hole. But yet he's ended up in situations where they start attacking Zion in the in the pick and roll or one on one, and he just starts cooking. 
Like, what is, what is the defensive scheme? But let, let's get back to this Kira Noff shit. Because these assholes got the audacity. They all mitigated God to talk about their the future. The future what? The future... Da, 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 da. No defense, brothers? Because that's what the fuck they was doing. Everything... <laughs> fuck it up! The entire fucking game had a 10-point lead, and they coughed the fucking lead up by the time you get Lonzo and the rest of them back in the game. And now they got to play with these guys already cooking, confident, and ready to go. You got three bad defenders on, on Fox. By the time you let Lonzo on them, or by the time Lonzo took the, uh, the assignment, it was a good game. Fox was already in his rhythm. He start, he, there was nothing they could do. And it's not like you were sitting there trapping and hedging him the entire like fourth quarter because that's where he killed you. You guys played solid for the most part, and then you started giving it away at the end of the third into the fourth quarter. No JJ tonight. I'm almost sure JJ will never touch this floor again until he's traded. Something's going on. Something is going on. And I've seen that there's like at least 10 teams looking to get between Lonzo and JJ. Um, something is happening. I can assure you of that. But hold on, wait a minute. Let, let's, let's, let, let's, let's get back to this fucking Stan Van Gundy massacre. What the fuck is this lineup to close the game? I, okay, first of all, Bledsoe was not doing enough on offense to where he should have closed this game. I found myself especially asking, I'm like, why the fuck is Willie Hernan Gomez not in the fucking game? By the time he comes in the game, you go put Zion on the bench. Willie Hernan Gomez should have closed this game. The this closing lineup should have been Willie Hernan Gomez, Zion, Lakers Trio. That should have been the closing lineup. That should have been the closing lineup. I don't care because Bag got checked and ejected. You know, all they had is, is what is his name? Rashard Holmes. The, the, the game plan should have been attack the fucking basket. The game plan should be play make and get the ball into Zion's hands. The, the game plan should have been play hardcore defense and run because they couldn't stop you. The game plan should have been anything but goddamn black soul on motherfucking De'Aaron Fox. That's what should have been the game plan. Is everybody okay that B.I. went what? Like I said, I didn't watch the rest of the game. Who knows? He might have went to the free throw line. He may have knocked down a shot. Last I checked, he was 6 of 20. There was a game early this year where Lonzo was 6 of 18 and people had an issue with it. Do you have an issue with B.I. shooting 33 to fucking percent? Matter of fact, I think he, he I think B.I. last I checked was 6 of 20. Do you guys have a problem with him being 6 of 20 still chalking up shots? Meanwhile, Zion is 6 of 13, I believe. Like, how is he not getting the ball? You already got Bagley out the game. You got Rashawn Holmes. Why aren't y'all attacking to get them out the game? They're playing small, so you want to go play small? No, play big. Make them have to beat your bigs. Make them foul you. Control the game. Take Fox out of the game. Make him have to defend. But don't just sit there and play Kira Lewis and no, just because the front office said you got to play him because they want to see what they look like. Lost this goddamn fucking game. Lonzo ball. Lonzo was making plays. He got blocked a couple shots. Like his shooting percentage shouldn't have been that bad. He missed one layup, which honestly, I was really surprised he missed because he had been hitting his layups all year. I was surprised he missed that one, but he went and attacked the basket. 
He was taking mid-range jump shots. He wasn't selling for threes this game. I got to give Zoe credit. He only shot five threes this game. He shot, I think he had a total of 12 shot attempts. He even got to the free throw line and not both of his free throws down, which is going to jump his percentage up to probably like 64, 65% for the year. Somewhere in there, probably. He, he didn't take threes the entire game. I was glad. I was glad. He took a couple mid-ranges. He got middle penetration in the zone. He attacked the basket in transition. Like I when I made my video talk about the type of team builds, he was going straight downhill. And I know I think what's the guy's name? Ali Cassell was talking about why don't he have a, um, a Euro step. He worked on it, but he's not using it. But again, he's not that shifty kind of guy. Like I said, he plays like a up, a north to south running back. He's going straight at you. He even bully balled into a layup. Excellent. He was attacking. He was making the right reads. I didn't have an issue with that. The only issue I have with Lonzo tonight is he wasn't assertive and said, look, I need that Fox assignment earlier. I need that Fox assignment. That's what should have been. That's what he should have done as the leader. What? Well, let me back up. He's not the leader. I forgot. But that's what he should have done. He let Bagley get free early for easy two. That was on his fault, and I tweeted it, and I believe Antonio Daniels said the same thing. He played solid to me. Yes, he missed a couple shots. That's okay. He got a couple. He got a couple of his shots blocked. Had he not got a couple of his shots blocked, he would have ended with like 17, 18 points for the game. Okay? I'm okay with him getting his shot blocked. That's fine. Because truth be told, half of the team was getting a shot blocked. Rashawn Holmes, I don't know how many blocks he had, but it had to be been around eight or nine. Had to. He, he was deflecting everything. My God. But, look, man. Hell shouldn't have lost this game. But let me, let me tell y'all this. Like I said, Sacramento is a terrible defensive team. They're high potent offense. They can get points, but they don't play defense. Same thing like the Pels. We shouldn't have had, for us to go and score 13 points in the fourth quarter. They lost Bagley. I get it. We don't have Steven Adams. But to be honest, it, it, let, let me you know what let me talk about this real quick. While it's fresh on my mind. Let me put Steven Adams away real quick. That damn lineup. Pell's future, the duo. Kira and all, the Pell's future. Josh Hart. Zion. <laughs> Look, that lineup gave up every fucking rebound in life. Every rebound in existence, they gave it up. They could not rebound for shit with Zion at the five. And I can't remember who the other person was. I think it was Bledsoe. They couldn't get a rebound for shit. They could not by a fucking rebound. That's part of the reason why Sacramento got to the game. That's, they got to take a bunch of free shots. They got to take a bunch of extra shots that they shouldn't have gotten, which helped to kind of get them in rhythm. Again, they got people that can score. They mentioned a mismatch between Josh Hart and, 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 and Harrison Barnes. Harrison Barnes can get buckets against anybody on the Pels. He's got the technical savvy. He's stronger than most of the guards. And to some degree, Brandon Ingram. And he's faster than everybody else. He's smart. He's a vet, a championship level vet, a championship starter level vet with experience. There's no reason why he should be getting ISOs on Zion. And they started attacking Zion in a pick and roll. Which is smart. If they're going to give it to you, I'm going to attack that all game. But why in the hell are you allowing this team who you had debt to rights to get back into this fucking game because of this fucking future lineup? 
Willie Herman, Hernan Gomez played his ass off. Lonzo Ball locked his man down on defense. Josh Hart got a double-double, had like 14, 11, 14, 12. Played his ass off on both ends. All that effort, all that hard work for it to get thrown away because of these boneheaded ass lineups and these goddamn guys who aren't ready. See, let me let me explain something to y'all. Everybody want to ship JJ and Zoe out. JJ, I'm a little bit more understandable. He's been terrible this season. You want to ship Lonzo out. Lonzo is the only somebody in the starting lineup who actually defended worth a damn. He's the only someone that defended worth the damn. Because, see, this is what you're finna get. You motherfuckers want goddamn Kira and now so bad, but they can't guard. They, they can't guard shit. They can't guard shit. Anything that, anything that the Sacramento Kings wanted, they got it while they were in the game. Yes, they made some plays here and there. They were they made some very impressive plays. But the points that they got does not take away from the points they gave up. They had a double digit lead and that shit was coughed up. I get you're missing Steven Adams, and I get you gotta play some Zion at the five. But Zion cannot be at the five without Lonzo and Josh Hart together beside him. He has to have, and Josh Hart has to play shooting guard in that lineup because they need to take away Fox and Buddy Hill. And if necessary, they can swap and rotate over to Harrison Barnes, preferably Lonzo, because Lonzo is quick enough, athletic enough, and got the length. That, that if you're going to play Zion at center, they have to be in the game. Period. But goddamn, man. Brandon Ingram, 20 plus shots, 19 points. His shots just weren't falling. He just didn't fucking have it. I get that, but goddamn, man. Like, if you don't have it, contribute elsewhere. He made one excellent cross court pass, and I've been waiting to see him do more of that. I'm going to give him credit for that. He deserves credit for, the, for what he did for that pass. But defensively, It's not enough. And when your top two players... You want to know why this team sucks so bad on defense? It's because your top two players' effort on defense is garbage. They do not play defense at a high enough level to warrant their pay status. Yes, I said it. With the exception of Zion, he isn't getting paid like that. But he, if if Zion was if Zion was getting paid this past offseason, he would have gotten a max. He is a max player, but his defense is not max player worthy. Neither is Bi. I'm sorry. It, it, it is what it is. You essentially you have Lonzo Ball, Eric Bledsoe, who it depends on who he's playing, if his defense is good enough. And then you got Steven Adams. That's your defensive front in the starting lineup because you're not getting it anywhere else. When the bench comes in, you got Josh Hart. I'm not going to mention Charmin Ultrasoft. If you don't know who Charmin Ultrasoft is by now, go pay attention to my previous videos or go look on my Twitter. It is obvious who Charmin Ultrasoft is. Mr. I had to start tonight and I got into foul trouble and I'm always on the ground looking like a bitch. Getting these pussy ass fouls. And I get it. He's a second year player. I understand. I understand. Just terrible. Just fucking terrible. This this team is fucking terrible. 
But you know what? Go ahead and trade Lonzo. You know, the Bulls are talking about they want they want to do Kobe White for Lonzo straight up. I tell you one thing. Let's say that happens. I guarantee you the Bulls ceiling increases immediately. And now you got your shooter scoring your point guard. But I'm telling you, you're not gonna play defense. You think it's bad? It's going to get worse when you don't have Lonzo that can guard the points. If you go trade for Kelly Oubre, fine. You got someone who can guard, but he can't shoot, but he can at least attack and score in the mid-range. I don't know who the hell Miami is trying to get rid of just to get Zoe. I doubt it's Hero, Bam, Jimmy, and maybe Drogic. I doubt it's any of them. Post this motherfucking stats. Please post this fucking stats. We're going to stay consistent. Y'all didn't have too many turnovers this game, but y'all started making bad plays toward the end. I mean, goddamn, man. That shit was disgusting. That shit was disgusting. Way too talented to be losing to this team. But at the same time, you know what? Y'all don't play defense. So it, it works itself out. <sighs> They're going to have to make some changes. Stan don't have what he need. Stan does not have what he need. What this team, what, what Stan really needs... Stan needs veteran players who are like in a 25 to like 29 age range. That's what he needs surrounding these guys. He does not need a build a bear project with Kira and all and the rest of these guys. He needs shooters and 3 and D players and he, he needs floor spaces for he, for his guys. He needs a team more like how, how Orlando has it. He needs more of a team like Orlando. If he's going to be young, he needs a team solid like that where they have Vujovic, Bamba, Isaac, you know, uh, DJ Augustine, uh, I think, is he still on that team? Yeah, uh, Evan Fournier, uh, players like that. Aaron Gordon, who, by the way, is out with an injury four to six weeks. They just can't kept, catch a break. They got two ACLs, and now they got Gord, uh, Aaron Gordon, who's out for like freaking six weeks. That's more the kind of team that Stan would meet to coach. But this team is presently constructed is not going to represent what Stan is capable of. And I think the front office understands that. But anyway, I got to go to bed because I got to get ready for work in the morning. <sighs> Fuck this team, man. <laughs> like... <laughs> Kira is overrated, and Nas is overrated vastly. And Lonzo is probably eight rated just right or a little bit underrated. But I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say it. Zion and B.I. are a little bit overrated. Oh, man. Like, I'm just trying to think. If I had to play the best defensive players on this roster, I'd be playing Lonzo, Josh Hart, Steven Adams. And then after that, it's just like, I don't even know who else you could play. Maybe Nall and B.I.? Because I don't know what I'm getting for Bledsoe from night to night based on the matchup. So I'd probably be playing Lonzo, Josh Hart, Nikhil Alexander-Walker, or B.I. And... Well, actually, let me take that back. Lonzo, uh, Josh Hart, Nikhil, B.I., and Stephen Adams. That's probably your best defensive lineup, to be honest. And that's not that. That's saying something, considering, you know, some of these other units in the league. But you know what? Fuck this shit. Y'all have a good night. Fuck this team. I'm out.